what you're going to need to go fishing in the California Aqueduct is something to keep the bait cold. Because you don't want to get it soft and soggy. You're going to need some shad. And you're going to need some mackerel. Don't forget your knife. Okay? And if you get out there and it gets too far away from all the walking, these unthaw, there's your water. So you're going to need a five gallon bucket, a stringer, and don't forget a knife. And then you stick these up in an ice chest, and the ice chest for the big catch. So it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm going to start with the shad. So the water's moving. I'm just going to cast out about halfway and start walking. As I'm walking, I'm walking with the current, let my bait go along, and I'm ready to let my reel run if I get a bite. So when I get hit, I set the bucket down. I walk with it, give them enough time to swallow it. Keep that rod tip up so you can feel any bite. Remember, no weight, just bait on a hook. Still looking for that one hungry fish. Already getting some action. Oh yeah, that's a pull. That's definitely a pull. Let's go ahead and try to set the hook on this one. What do you think? Got him. Shit. Sorry about that. I got a reel. It's a little guy. Shake your phone. <laughs> There's a little guy, a little catfish. That's a little guy. That's a little guy right there. Well, it's still been in my rod. Got some weight to it, huh? Here we go. That's what you get. Sometimes they're a lot bigger, though. See, this guy's gonna go back. He's just a little bit bigger than my foot. I'm always gonna catch something like this. No matter where I go. You know why? Because I don't give up. Okay. Shad is great during the winter. But right now, my favorite bait is mackerel. Still the same. No weight. Keep that tip up. So you can feel the bite. Let it run. Take out some line, count to 15, click it, set the hook. A lot of times you'll get them, but if you got a big piece of bait, you want to give them a little bit to swallow it down. I went to the other side to get the sun out of my face. Let's see how we do. Still using mackerel. Well, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's a good one. So you see why you bring a stringer? Just in case. Another one. <laughs> right on. Right on. There's another one. 
Another little one. Golly. Oh. Here's another one. Where's he going? I tucked that hook in good. Walk with them so they don't take too much line. Let them swallow it. Then I'm gonna rip it out. I need my hands. Easy now. Easy now. I'm tired of you guys eating all my bait. I got this one on skin. <laughs> Easy now. Easy. It's a striper. You guys have been eating my bait. Are you serious? Dude. What? Oh, come on. Get up a little bit more. Dude. You're, you're pretty good size, but I don't, I don't think you're legal, and you ate my hook, damn you. Well, you might be legal. I doubt it, though. See, if you're not legal, then I got to cut my line because you swallowed my hook.